In this tutorial we have a look at the various types of differences and how to update them with just a couple clicks. I have opened already two workbooks and the worksheet names are identical, so Synchronizer has matched them already automatically. To include as many differences as possible, we also click on content and include comments and Excel names. Additionally, we include format differences, click on enable formats and we want to have number, alignment, font, border and fill differences. And with this setting, we can click on the start icon to compare the two worksheets. Before we look into the differences, a couple words about the main interface of Synchronizer. On the right side, you see the two worksheets with the differences highlighted. On the left side, you have the main navigation. The upper part builds the summary, while the lower part gives you all the details. In our example, we have only one worksheet per workbook, so you just see one name here, which is usually the name of the source worksheet. If there are multiple worksheets, they are just listed here, as well as the differences. In the summary, all the differences are grouped by difference type. We have inserted columns, inserted rows, differences in entered values and formulas, differences in calculated values, format differences, differences in comments and differences in Excel names. Below the icon you see the number of differences and in some cases you see two numbers. If you see two numbers that means 12 differences on the source worksheet and 10 differences on the target worksheet. The lower part which is the detailed part and the updating part consists of the options how to update a difference and a listing of all the differences that have been found in Synchronizer. If you compared already two worksheets and you would like to make some adjustments, for example set additional filters, just select your filters, close them and click the refresh button. It repeats the comparison, including your newly set filters. For our example, let's take these filters out again. And as a reminder, always click the refresh button as soon as you do some changes or adjustments. Now let's have a look at the individual differences. The navigation between the different types of differences is quite easy. Simply click on the number of differences and it shows you down here the details. It reads that the target worksheet has on column H an inserted column, which if you look at the example is the column information which is missing on the source worksheet. To add that, Source worksheet is always the left worksheet and the target worksheet is the right worksheet. When we update, we can move either from the left worksheet to the right worksheet or from the right worksheet to the left worksheet. The same goes for the delete functions, delete on the left worksheet and delete on the right worksheet. To update a difference, Click on the difference and select the option you would like to do. In this example, you can either transfer the inserted column from the right worksheet to the left worksheet. You can transfer all the differences. In this case, that's not possible because we have only one inserted column. You can delete the inserted column on the right worksheet or you can delete all the inserted columns. Let's just update the left worksheet. 
means inserting the inserted column. The change is done with a single click and that the change is really done is shown here in green. As soon as you see a green field, that tells you a specific difference has been updated. Next, let's look at the inserted rows. For the updating, it is again the same layout and the same functions. From the left worksheet to the right worksheet, from the right worksheet to the left worksheet, delete on the left worksheet, delete on the right worksheet. Let's click on a difference. Let's say this one we want to delete. And instantly the color changes to red, which tells you this difference has been deleted. Click on the next difference. And let's say we move this from the left to the right worksheet. You can either click manually here or you can use the two arrows to navigate. This one goes one by one down or one by one up. The next type of differences is the inserted values and formulas. Also here, click on the number of differences and it shows you all the details here. One very strong point of Synchronizer is the synchronized scrolling. If you scroll on one worksheet, automatically the other worksheet jumps to the same position. To update these differences now, we can do that either on a case-by-case -case basis or we can update entire columns or rows. I will come to that in a minute. For now, select any difference and the cursor jumps right to the difference in both worksheets. We can see on the source worksheet, the name is different from the target worksheet. To update, we can either update the right worksheet by moving from the source worksheet to the target worksheet or the other way around from the target worksheet to the source worksheet. Let's click on the arrow and it shows that Hannah Moss has been updated. As you can see now, in both worksheets, the name is Elke Bischoff, while on the main navigation, it still shows the original value in the updated cell. We made this that you can easily compare how was it before and how is it now. If you like to update all the differences, simply click on this icon here and the right worksheet is updated with the values from the left worksheet or the other way around. An option for a very efficient updating is grouping by column. It shows you here the column and the differences for each of the columns. To get the details, click on the plus and here are the detailed differences which occur in the column C. Now you can either update each of the differences individually or you can click on the number of differences and click on the single update arrow from left to right or right to left and all differences of this specific column will be updated within a single click. Click on the number, click on the arrow and it is all updated. If you go back to sort by row, the updated differences are shown already as usual in green. The next type of differences is calculated values. Also here, click on the number and it shows you the detailed differences. Now, since these are calculated values, meaning they depend on other entered values or formulas, there is no option to update them. To change a difference, you will need to update in here in the entered values and formulas. The next will be the formats. Click on the difference and it shows you 
where, what type or what group of difference occurs, and the detail difference. For example, here we have italic and the color. Next, we have the Excel comments. Click on it, and again, you see the details here and the update options again. Always from left to right, from right to left, all differences from left to right, all differences from right to left. And finally, we have the Excel names. Also here, click on the difference, click on the plus, and you get the details. That's it about how to update your worksheet. It can be basically done within just a couple clicks and within just a couple seconds. Thank you for watching.